Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 3. In this video, we're going to do a software overview with our ECU Masters Black software. So we know where all the features and functions are found within the software and what to expect when we're doing our tuning process. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our ECU Masters Black software. In the last video, we covered how to create a custom page layout. And what I have open here right now, as far as the layout is goes, is going to be what I've supplied in the training course. This is specifically the main tuning page layout template. So if we go here to desktops, if we go into open desktops template, we can move down here. It's going to be our option called main tuning. So that's what I have open here on the screen. So if you're following along and want to have the same kind of things up on your screen, that is what I am using. So let's turn our attention to the bottom of the screen right now to get started with this training tutorial. So we want to learn about the software features and things that we need to know in order to most efficiently tune and work with this ECU Masters Black system. So looking down here at the bottom, we have this box here. It's flashing at us, showing disconnected. We also find here we have some other boxes that are different colors. So things are going to be purple colors or green or black or red. And uh, this is going to be essentially our status bar at the bottom of the screen. So at a glance, we can see if something has a problem. We can see if something's active or not active. So if things are in black, we can see right here, this is going to be showing us anti-like system state. That's going to be showing us black because nothing's happening right there. So if we look at something that's green, we can show here idle control state. That means that particular output or that particular control is going to be okay. Um, we're going to find here, if it's red, we can see here the cell light, check engine light. That's going to be telling us we have a problem somewhere. And if we actually move our cursor over that, we can see that the wideband is the actual issue. So it's going to be pointing us and guiding us um, and telling us what the problem is. Similar to the same idea if you have a check engine light wired into your vehicle. Now, you may have the check engine light tied into your ECU Masters box. So if you're finding that the check engine light comes on, we can just go here to the bottom and just highlight over that cell right here. And it's going to be telling us the status of what actually is wrong. Um, we're going to find other options here. So we see our table sets, this table set one or the boost control. That's going to be telling us what particular tables we're working with. So we find table set one. This could be related to our fuel table one or uh, the fuel table two. So we might have a pump gas and a race gas map. We can toggle between those with a switch. We'll be getting into this, into the specifics with that in the training course. We don't have to worry about that right now, but we can see the status of what table set we're on. Table set one, table set two. Or in the boost control, we have the option to go between two different boost control tables and targets. Um, we can find, we can see the status here of that as well. So let's go here and turn on our ECU Masters black box right now and power up my vehicle. We're going to find um, the status here is going to be changing from disconnected then to connected. So I'm plugged into my ECU Masters box. However, the power on the vehicle is shut off. So let's go here. I'm going to turn the power on. It's going to take here about maybe five, 10 seconds before it establishes a connection. It's going to be showing that it is actually connected. So we'll wait here and we can see right now we're connected. So it's giving me verification that I am online with my ECU Masters black box and it's connected to my laptop. We're going to find we have some other things to talk about here. So we're going to see the next thing is the ignition status. This is going to be showing here synchronizing. That means that it's trying to register the cam and crank pattern from the vehicle. Now, if we don't have those configured properly, we're going to find that's always going to be in the synchronizing state and never show that it's synced. We need to make sure it's going to be showing synced in order for it to actually run the vehicle. And we're going to find the kind of cause and effect here by not actually having this synchronized and not showing synced and just showing that it's synchronizing. You're going to see the state here is inactive. So the EMU state is actually not going to be running the engine. It's not going to be doing anything because it doesn't understand the cam and crank pattern. Now we're going to go over the cam and crank patterns and using the oscilloscope in a separate video, but just to kind of point things out of what's going on here, we can see that the cell light is showing that the wideband is an issue. So we can see that status here. The CAN bus network is okay. Our idle control here is okay. It's in green. Fuel pump control output here is also okay. And we also have a generic parameter here, a user programmable output number one that is also in the on state right now. So we can see. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.